love amazing. butter. Butter is amazing. <laughs> yes. Hello, it's Melissa Hennig here, the raw food stylist, and I'm here with George Bryant. Everywhere to find me will go real easy real quick. So okay. civilizedcavemancooking.com is my main website. For those that uh, don't want to type it in, you go to Google and type civilized caveman. I'm the first like 30 or 40. There's no other civilized caveman. So I eat a raw primal diet, which is probably 80% raw fat, and I eat raw meat, raw butter, and you know, I love all that stuff. And you are paleo. I am completely paleo, 100%. So similar to primal, not raw though, I cook my meat. So basic premise of paleo, if you don't know, it's no grains, no legumes, and no dairy. Mm -hmm. And then obviously nothing processed. We want to source our ingredients from the best sources possible, local farmers, organic vegetables. If you can find it, if you can find it, if it's grown by someone you know, it's always the best. If you can grow it even better. Yeah. If you can go kill your own meat, go hunting, go buy a cow. Which buy a you sheep. have, I right? do, I do. Every every bit of meat, I have a thousand pounds of meat in the garage. I love that. And uh, all the, the pork I've done myself, all the chickens I go do every... And it's it's nice and thick, right? It is. Mm. <laughs> Three weeks at Primal Pastures in oh, Temecula, you do? yeah, okay, and then uh, a cow as well. So it's wow. it's quite a humbling experience, and you really appreciate your food. And you feel so connected. When you, you do, do that. you do. When I when I started eating paleo, one of my biggest things was I was like, oh, whatever, I'll eat this way. It's a diet. It's a diet. It's a diet. Right. I'd go to the grocery store. I'd buy whatever meat was there, oh. whatever bacon was there, whatever. I didn't care. Right. And then it's crazy because of, like the evolution of six months, I realized as I kept going that I felt differently when I ate these different qualities. Uh. Of meat. I was gonna ask you that. And I was like, why is this like this? And then I was like, oh, so I started doing some research. I'm like, wow, this is what happens to store bought animals. This mm -hmm. is how they're treated. And I'm like, no way. Right. And I mean, I tried being a vegetarian and vegan a long time ago. It did not work for me. I didn't even make it like a month. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I was like, I made it a little while. I was like evil. Like, yeah. you didn't want to be. I eat this way and I feel amazing. My blood work is off the mm -hmm. chart. My blood pressure right. is amazing. My Resting heart rate's like 38 beats a minute, and I'm not an endurance athlete anymore. It's like, I feel amazing. Yeah, so if you feel good. And that's what weight, like I lost 100 pounds. I cured, okay. I cured a lot of allergies. I was allergic to dust, dirt, dogs, wheat, pollen, grass, food? anything you could, it's every bit of seafood, oh. everything you can imagine. Do you, do you um, eat seafood now? I do. Oh. Because we always learn better when we do it ourselves. Right. You could read a million books, but exactly. you have to live the life. Exactly. And I really do. I live the life and feel good, too. Mm -hmm. And as far as the inflammation, because I do eat meat, but mostly raw meat, yep. which I know where it's sourced, so I feel comfortable exactly. about it. Exactly. But um, I drink a lot of green juice, too. Mm -hmm. So that is also, or, and lemon water, and yeah. alkalizing. Very active CrossFit athlete. I'm a competitive okay. CrossFitter, and I've been competing for a few years. But everyone always asks me, what's your best protein powder? What's your best? And I was mm -hmm. like, food. Yes. Food. Whole food. I was like, you know, I was like, you can't try and speed things up to make your body work faster. Mm -hmm. Foods are designed for your body to use, and that's what it's optimized for. So. Okay, so I do have a question yes. on paleo. Do you guys drink alcohol? Uh, so. We call that the gray area. Oh, okay. So um, that's another reason that I tell people that it depends on how you feel. Because right. for me, I am a huge proponent of having a cocktail. I don't yeah. do it often, but when I do, like I don't want to feel that I can't go to a social event or have one. So okay. what we do advise people is we try and tell them to stick as close as they can. So silver mm -hmm. tequila, because oh, okay. you know it's made from uh, agave. agave. And then uh, like Ciroc vodka is distilled from grapes. Oh wow! So no that's awesome. no grains or no, no potatoes. Okay. And then uh, organic red wine is always that's those right. are like my three recommendations. Right. And that's also enjoying life. It is. And people that live really long, they know how to enjoy life. Exactly. There was you that 105 year old woman on the news the other day, and she said the secret to her life was bacon. Ah. And, it, and this <laughs> thing went viral all over the internet. It I was bet. shared. It was shared a couple million times, and this 105 wow. year old woman said. I've eaten bacon every day of my life. Oh, so on the raw primal diet, um, I feel strong. Everyone mm -hmm. says, what's the one thing you notice? You know, is it, it's not really, I have energy, but yeah. when I was raw vegan, I was flying and anxious yeah. and I couldn't sleep. And I definitely am more grounded, but I really feel strong. Mm -hmm. I feel that the protein, I don't, I don't denature the protein at all. Yeah. I, and you said you eat the uh, steak tartare. Oh. Okay. Now I love bone marrow. Oh, like I do too. I just nobody's business. I, I, 
I actually eat it raw. It's like butter. Okay, see, I haven't tried it raw. It's that's really that's good. you're on a whole new level, man. I got some catching good. up to do, but I mean, roasted bone marrow, and yeah. then now, like, I I mean, I make my own tartare now. If I can get some like nice pastured yeah. quail eggs and stuff, like, okay. I'll make tartare. And oh, I actually that use I'm interested in. I don't use ground beef. I actually ground up either sirloin or oh, okay. you know a nice yeah. cut and do it myself oh, with a so good. with a like a fillet. Yeah. And that way you have the texture and it's already that. Mm -hmm. Really, really amazing cut of meat. And I really, I don't know, I like to eat a raw fat with my tartare. I just feel that the proteins are, it's gonna heal better, digest, everything works better with the raw fat. So I'm always eating a tartare with an avocado. Oh yeah, that, that sounds actually amazing right now. Yeah. I've never even thought about it. I'm gonna have to go out to a restaurant and bring an avocado with me so I can have it with my tartare. Or butter. Ooh, butter's butter always, with yeah. The tartare, I eat butter with your fat. I eat butter like so many bits. I, I, I really find watching like the way that our society has evolved with the food industry and the way things are pushed now is like most of the funny stuff I get to promote butter and bacon and stuff on my website. Yeah. I go back and I start Googling ads from the 40s and 50s mm, I bet. when people used to tell you to eat more butter and raise yeah. your own chickens and make your own yeah. bacon and eat more cholesterol. And you know, before all these big companies got involved. Yeah. And it's crazy because people were healthier then, you know, less, you know, people are gonna fight you on this one all day, no matter I what you know. say, no matter what the I'm research. Trying to break but, all those myths on cholesterol and You know, fat. it's crazy, but you know, they didn't start until like, I think it was 78 or so when the cholesterol myth started. Yeah. And you know, there's never been anything. Like there was just a 25 year study that Chris Kresser talked about about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, and they found that women at their healthiest had a total cholesterol between 250 and 300. Hi. And it's yeah. hilarious mm -hmm. to me because if you go to any doctor in the United States, if your total cholesterol is anything over like 185, they yeah. start pushing statins down your throat. I know. And the craziest thing about that is there's never been one documented case where a statin has prevented heart disease or a heart attack. I know. <laughs> That's what we gotta get the word out there. Women with the highest cholesterol live the longest. Yes, it's, it's and amazing. And I, I mean, I feel so good and I eat all butter. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of butter and yeah. dairy and raw meat and green juice, but. So that guess, sounds like a pretty good diet, actually. Yeah. I mean, I think I like bacon too much, and I have to cook bacon, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep eating. And I will eat your cooked bacon. There we if go. You make it. There we go. So we all have to be open-minded and find what what works for us and our body. And I think the best thing is trying trying things. Exactly. See what works. Exactly. So, and I guess one more time. And, you're and then uh, the cookbook is actually on CavemanFeast.com. So we hosted okay. that separately, so it didn't get lost on my website. So all right, good. it's 215 paleo recipes, all grain free, dairy free, gluten free, soy free, nothing yeah. processed, easy stuff. Lots of crock. I think I have like 55 crock pot recipes. Oh, wow. I have nice. like 30 or 40 traditional dessert recipes, which are refined, sugar free. They're all made yeah. using honey or uh, maple syrup. No. No, no like agave. stevia, no agave, no none of that's that. Great. And uh, yeah, and that's all at cavemanfeast.com. So okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to try your recipes. You're gonna have to yeah. try at least one of them. I don't put a, I don't put myself in the total box, so I'll that's definitely good. That's cook good. some food.